It's your call. Heads, please. Heads is called. It is tails. You go, not bad. Okay, good luck. High in the air. What a shot. Six runs and Basil George starts beautifully. He goes again and he gets it again. Well, Basil George is enjoying the spin early. Oh, what a shot from Basil George. Well, Basil's on. It's a full toss and George, he is flying. Just gotta look it up now. I'll give you the wrong info. Anyway, this is miles in the air. I don't think anyone's catching this, or are they? Maybe, maybe not. Four, wow. Straight. Up. Yeah, beautifully worked away, and this is going to be another boundary. Full toss, tries to muscle it out of the ground, and he does. Maximo! Wow, this is up, it's in the air, and it is six. Maximo! Well, half he comes back, and yeah, this is going to be into the jungle. Maximo! 50 comes up in the 50 partnership for AUM. Don't distract him, he's in front of us. Anyway, this is hit pretty hard into the gap, and it's four. All right, here we go, over number six, and it's gonna be smashed for six. What a shot, it was short, it was white, it was Gundy from Copperhunt, and he goes the journey. Basil smashes it, oh. he's right in his zone, and he's put it out of the zone, into the fan zone, Maximo. He goes large, going, going, gone, Maximo. Here you go. And, well, I hate being a clairvoyant sometimes, but the tank fires again. Maximo! And he smokes one out of the ground. Maximo! Yes. Well, and Hosenbach's going to get the reward here. The opening partnership worth 100, but it has to go. Tanka tries to swing across the line. And that's a good way to finish the left arm spinner. Is this the over that reverses the momentum? We'll have to see. It's a good over for Patanka. Tries to go for his half century with something large. Instead, he walks for 46 of just 19 balls. The score is 105 for one. Edge dropped. And that sums it up. Well, I mean, they lost the tank. They could have lost Rocky. It was a thick edge through to the keeper, Francois Fauré. And, uh, well, he gets two hands to it. Yeah, just didn't, he needed to go kind of reverse cup. That had a life last time. Now he's another thick edge, hang in the air, get lucky this time. Is this going to be stopped? Oh, I think it's four. Oh, but it's gone. See ya. It's a really good slow ball. Not easy, new batter coming in to find that. And you always kind of, you don't want to be late on it, do you? So he's a real candidate for that slow ball. And I think you'll find out that is about as plumb as it gets. And it's also... The second wicket to fall in the ninth over. It's 113 for two. Tenth over, it's number 10, Abajaya coming up, and he gets smashed in the air. Sailor comes underneath it, and he takes it. Yeah, that's why, for me, strategically, I mean, that's two balls kind of been burnt now. Uh, Malik, you can't really criticise him. He's going for it. He just doesn't get enough of it. And that's the third wicket to fall. Abajaya gets on the wickets, and there he is. 15 for three. And he launches one in the air, and this is going to be out of the ground. Maximo! Oh, here he is again, he goes again. This is going, it's going. I don't think it's got the distance, he's misjudged it. Oh, and he's going to stop the boundary, though. What's he doing? It's Coming a back sitter. For two. I mean, he just came in too far. Scroll time puts it down. It sums up VOC completely. I have to say, I don't want to be overly crude, but that's a sitter, and he ran under it. Well, Indo-Bulgarian vibes. What goes around, comes around. Does well in the end. Oh. oh, thank you. Thankfully, he got his hands up because that could have decapitated him. Drop catch. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> look. Uh, old off the body. And so, Hippajaya gets away with this one. So, it looks like Basil won't face another ball in the game. I mean, sliding doors, I'm not taking that one last ball of the ninth. Even though it's number four, I think, you know, what have they got if this over? They did get the six. I'll give them that. Uh, but it just seems to be a bit of a tactical error, Corey. Yeah, this over's gone. There's eight off it. There's two for eight off five balls. Last ball. Doesn't get it. Oh. Where's that gone? Got to go for two. Well, Jasper doesn't realise. Should be run out. Well, he should have ran because Arnav can't oh, overarm it. That's weird. Well, Basil, he wants the NO. It would have been him on the, in trouble anyway. So, look, it's going to be 124 for four off ten.
to run, just to bash. Here we go, 125 to win. He does bash, and he gets six first up. Maximo! Pitched up, hit beautifully again. Well, that's classical stuff. That's another fence buster. Maximo! Now he's oh. going to stand and deliver. Maximo! Cox had enough, he smashes this, and it's not going to be handled by Prasad, who's got some injury issues of his own. That's the boundary, De Kock gets his first. On the charge, uncontrolled, gone. So the captain falls, and it's Amini Ralhan that takes the catch. The chance was offered, it was taken, and Malta breakthrough, VOC 29 for one. And he goes for the hero shot, running down the wicket. He's hunting the big fish, Sailor. Who Chops on, kicks it away to make sure it doesn't come back onto the stumps. A sailor on strike, and then you've got at least a bit more protection. Goes after this, hangs in the air. It will be safe. It will run away, and it runs away for four. So luck's the fortune for Pete. And Peter Sailor smashed. That could almost be six. Wow. That is six, I think. Wow, what a shot. That's out of here. Maximo. Goes for it and gets it. That's the end of the jungle. Maximo. Schoenheim, he wakes up and he takes VOC to 50 in pretty quick time. Just three and a half overs. Reaches and gets it out of the ground. Maximo. Long levers for Yelta. And they're reigning sixes at the moment. Launches again. Does he get enough? He's into the gap. It's going to go for six. Maximo. Goes for it and gets another one. Maximo! Oh, it's dropped. It's dropped. It's a farmer out there. Goes one more time and gets it one more time. Maximo, big over. Four of them come in the over. Short. He's missed out. Oh, wow. It. Could be gone. He's caught it. Well, Schoenheim was motoring, wasn't he? And they just got the top edge there. Sometimes Gundy balls get wickets. And can you believe it? Probably the easiest ball his face brings about his downfall. It's 80 for two. Good looking shot. That's four. Great shot. Well, that's too short this time. He's not going to do a yell tap. He's going to do a jungle buster. Maximo. Beautiful shot. That's four. That's just a class shot. It was straying into leg stumps, and Basil has kind of strayed into the pads a bit in this innings. Oh, close, close, and gone. The slower ball does the trick. Only thing for me was the height with this slower ball, as Corey tried to go across the line, so Basil gets the breakthrough. Malta just holding on. And Francois played some nice shots while he was out there, but he's going to be the third wicket to fall. Oh, he edges a four. So a bit of luck for Arna first up, but he'll take it. That takes VOC past 100. It's inventive, and he's dropped. He's, no, he's, he thought he dropped it. Right. Sorry, I thought he caught it for a second. Wow, that's, cra that's a crazy one. Well, he's actually ramped it straight to the <laughs> keeper. <laughs> actually, and it's, like a, it's basically like a slips catch, but for a keeper. Last ball, the over. And it is going, going, and it's gone. Well, that overthrow's worth seven in the end. So just a little bit of indiscipline. A little touch, just the one. No, no, it's going to be four. This could do it, and it will. So it'll be eight balls to spare. Judd finishes it off. But Peter Saylor, take a bow. The way he controlled that chase. The experience of the man as well. And the final score here from the Cardamer Oval in Group B Match 8. It's VOC running up 125 of 8.4 overs.